so let's talk some tennis now on the Sports Max Zone for this Tuesday. The Barbados women's team made history at the weekend uh, when uh, they advanced to America's Group 2 of the Billie Jean King Cup at the National Racquet Center in Trinidad and Tobago. The Bayesians went 4-0 and in Pool A, preliminary round action with wins over Antigua and Barbuda, Jamaica, the Bahamas and the host TNT before beating El Salvador 11-9 to book their spot in Group 2. Let's check in now on Sean and Williams, captain of the team, which is now back home after their success in TNT. Sean and welcome to the Sports Max Zone. Great to have you on the show. Um, historic for the uh, Barbadian girls. Um, I think they had a similar success a couple of years ago. But was this anticipated by your group? Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, anticipated. I wouldn't say necessarily, necessarily the word. Um, I think we, we prepared very well for it. Um, so I think with that, we came there with a job to do. Um, and considering that job, I think the girls did very well to, to fulfill any goals that we set. All right. Well, having gone 4-0 and in the prelims before you battled El Salvador, how much did your unbeaten run in the prelims give you confidence that you could have taken care of El Salvador, given the fact that you would have probably seen El Salvador and what they had to offer in their group? Um, I mean, to be fair, we didn't, didn't see much of um, El Salvador competing, um, just based on the fact that we had pretty long days um, once the tournament got, got underway. Um, but... I will say that, that girls did well to grow in confidence tie after tie, match after match, day after day. Um, so I think when it came down to that, that final playoff, that they were ready for it. I mean, we, we all knew that it would have been a task. Um, it would have been a long week. It would have been a, a tough week. Um, but they did their part, you know, day after day, um, match after match. They, they dug deep, you know, and they gave a little more every single day. Yeah. 11-9, pretty close with the El Salvador clash there. How, how grueling was that? for the girls emotionally? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot. I think, I think that last day, you know, after, after putting up um, such good work and such big fights throughout the week, that last day, you know, it, it really just to find the, the mental, mental strength, you know, the motivation. I think the, the, their body was a little tired after having a grueling week. Um, but it was really my job at that point in time to just make sure that they, they kept the cool, you know, they stay motivated regardless of what the outcome was, um, to put themselves in a place to, to at least compete. You know, um, and it came down to the wire. Truthfully, there were some moments that um, that it was a little nerve wracking, well, very nerve wracking, um, truthfully. Um, but I think I tried my best to, to show composure for them um, and they did their part. Truthfully, I mean, I couldn't be any more proud of the work they did, um, honestly. How your practices or you usually play when you're in competition? Give me a sense of what it was like preparing for the competition itself and what during that practice, those practice sessions, gave you confidence going into this into the into the into the rounds of play that made you feel that this was very this this success was possible um truthfully this is probably one of the most balanced teams we've had in, in a while um so knowing what these girls are capable of i think it gave me quite a bit of confidence and this is my, my second time captaining this team um so i knew just based on my last experience the the physicality that they need to have um to prepare for it. So we spent a lot of time training on mornings, um, training on evenings, some evenings. We also spent some time training with the men's team, the Davis Cup team. Um, we had some junior players involved as well. So there are a lot of, they, they got the opportunity to one, play with each other, which they always do. Um, but then they got the opportunity to play with, with the guys as well too, which, which they uh, very much welcomed, you know. So it's good to have um, a, a good training squad that they were able to sharpen the tools and the skills with over that, that period of time. Um, we had gym sessions in the morning, fitness sessions, match play. Um, so they, they, were, they went through it before the tournament started, you know, so they were very prepared, at least in that, in that regard, for the tournament to start. Mm. Tell me a little bit about the girls. I mean, you know, we talk about them as a collective, but tell me about the individual pieces that make this team and, and why is it so good? Um, so we have Gabrielle Leslie, who um, has been... Who, and to the team as a member, I think she was missing last high, um, last, last bit of Jean King Cup in 2023. Um, she's back now. You know, I think she, she played a very viable role in, in our success. Um, she went unbeaten, I think, for the tournament. So that, that one is important. Um, I think the girls have a lot of confidence in each other, you know. Um, I think that, that plays a vital part. Um, 
in a team dynamic. You know, so I think them having the motivation on a on a day to day basis, you know, having confidence in their teammates to to get the job done, um, played a vital role. Um, we also have um, Hannah Chambers who would have played two, um, and who would have been two on the team, um, and Serena Bryan who would have been three on the team, followed by Sharice who would, um, depending on who you ask, would be considered a, a double specialist. You know, um, <laughs> but they all played a role. I think for our three, our three. Um, our top three players, they're more or less the singles players that we tend to lean on. Um, but truthfully, on any given day, each of them could have played either either role, whether they're playing one or two. Um, so I think that gave us some impetus to to get a little bit more of the work done. You know, I think having that, that depth and having understanding and appreciation that if one of them lost confidence at any point in time or gained confidence at any point in time, that each of them knew that they were capable of doing the job at hand. Yeah. I saw, Sean, on a video from the Nation News meeting the girls at the airport had seen um, Serena, Hannah, and Sharice in that video. Was it that Gabrielle didn't come back with the team? Yeah, uh, Gabby, she actually headed out straight off to school um, because their, their semester starts pretty soon. Um, I believe Hannah left the next day. Um, Serena is probably left, I think, today, maybe. or maybe. Um, so, yeah, so that's essentially it. Yeah. So, so Gabrielle is, is number one ranked Barbadian at the moment, isn't she? Yes. So where is, where is she studying at school? Um, she's at Troy, Troy University. Yeah. Yeah, so Are, she's doing well. She transferred from Prairie View University to Troy, so she's finishing up her degree now. Yeah. Um, you, Seanan, had been a part of uh, the Davis Cup setup back in 2014 with Hayden Lewis, Darian King and, and Russell Mosley creating history, qualifying Barbados for Group 1 America Zone in, in the Davis Cup. Um, yes. I, I remember the, the sort of um, glory that, that came Barbados' way in, in tennis then. That was 14, 2014, 10 years ago. Um, what does this latest, with that in mind, and you being a part of that 2014 setup, what does this latest achievement mean for Barbados' tennis or a statement that it makes for Barbados' tennis? Um, truthfully, I think it, it, it really just says that we're on our way up. Um, it's one thing to have the guys do it. You know, they've, they've been in the spotlight for a while. Um, but it's another to have the girls do it as well, too. You know? So we're, we're trying to, to bring everything um, to par to breast so that we have a very well-rounded um, tennis community. You know, I think it's one thing to have male role models in this dynamic, but it's also essential to have females. You know, I think um, more recently we've, we've been getting an injection of female athletes, female tennis players in the sport. Um, this does very well for them to have role models that they can see on a day-to-day -day basis and interact with. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this would be a huge fillip for for the women's side of tennis in Barbados as well. But um, while we talk a little about the Davis Cup. Um, Darian King, and did he have an injury recently that was setting him back? Is he okay now? Yeah, I mean, Darian's on the men. Um, he, he's about to start playing some tournaments, get on the road. Um, so hopefully he gets some good results um, over the next few weeks um, to months, and then he, he finds his way back on, on track um, to, to play at the level that we know he can. Yeah, and um, what's the next Davis Cup assignment for the Barbadians then? Um, Davis Cup, they play in September in Barbados. Um, they play against Pakistan, I believe. Um, so they've been training pretty hard. So they, they, they started a little early. Um, so they've been training with the girls, like I mentioned. So it's been a few weeks of them, if not a couple of months of them training uh, in preparation for that. So they're looking good. Um, they're looking sharp. So I think that they'll very much anticipate um, good results and good performance come September. Yeah, and remind me, Barbados uh, tennis... Davis Cup, uh, they're Group 2 at the moment in the zone? Group 2 as well, yes. Group 2. All right, Seanan, um, great talking to you. Congrats again on the success that the girls had in the Billie Jean Cup uh, moving up to Group 2. Um, it's historic for them. A real um, great strides, great strides that are being made for tennis in Barbados. Continue to do good work there, and uh, we hope that you'll have more success in the future. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, that's yeah. Seanan Williams. He's captain of the Billie Jean Cup team that uh, the Barbadians uh, were on top in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, qualifying for Group 2 in the Billie Jean in ITF Tennis. Uh, we'll be back with more on the Sportsmat Zone after this.